Hi, we're back with another Roundabout Wimbledon. We're near the Dog and Fox pub. It's just straight up Church Road to the Roundabout, and then you see the Dog and Fox. We talk to the people here. They enlarge their staff from 25 to 80 for the two weeks of the tournament. They also do about 11% of their yearly business. We're going to try to talk to some of the folks here and hope they don't get too fresh with us. So here we go. So what's an Aussie doing in Wimbledon? Uh, we're just here visiting some friends and watching the tennis. And have you been so far? Not yet. No, tomorrow's the next big day. Right. And what are you pumped up to see? Oh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, no. What kind of a fan are you? Uh, we're one of those sort of more casual fans. Oh, yeah, you know, sort of come in, maybe um, have a few drinks, see the, see the sights. Right. Yeah, it's all very good. And so what about uh, in January? Do you go to the Australian Open yeah, in Melbourne? Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're all from Melbourne, so that's, right. a, that's a big one for us. And what do you like most about the Australian Open? Uh, I just love watching Roger Freder coming down and uh, in summertime it's hot and uh, you know, it's really just a great atmosphere down there. Right. Well, have a good day there tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. Thank you very much. So are you from Melbourne? No, I'm from the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast? Brisbane? Yeah, go, yeah, right. Brisbane, yeah. Have you ever been to the tournament in Brisbane? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh. So you, you toss away Brisbane but you come to Wimbledon? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And what are you expecting to see when you go to the tennis? Um, I don't know, but I can tell you everything here has just been beyond expectations. It's a beautiful place, the weather has been amazing, so they're turning it on, it's good. So is, is that a dangerous drink that you're having right there? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly is it? Um, I think it's a PIMS. A PIMS? I, I think that's what the locals do apparently, that's what I've been told. So I'm having one, checking it out. Do you, do you know that I read the other day all the ingredients that are, that are in there, chopped up cucumbers, all kinds of ridiculous things, and obviously there's a, there's a little bit of, uh, I think there's a gin liqueur as well. Do you want to try it? Uh, 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 should I? Go on. Uh, I've, got some, I've got quite a few Polish friends, so I have to rub it in a little bit. Uh, oh, it's pretty tame. It's pretty good. Sorry, it's very tame. Yeah. I thought it would be a little more, a little harder than that. No, it's quite refreshing. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll let you finish your drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we are, and this is about the most uh, unlikely pair you'll find in Wimbledon. These two women are from Wimbledon. So if you're from Wimbledon, does that mean you go to the tennis? Yeah, we do. We, we're big tennis fans. Um, we both worked at Wimbledon Tennis as well. I was a court coverer. There's people that cover the court when it rains, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, um, for five years. And Fliss used to be a player escort. So yeah, we've done our time. What's the most important thing about being a court coverer? Um, the free food, the sun, um, and getting to go anywhere you want in, in the grounds, like actually, without I mean, even I mean, having to queue up. <laughs> actually, I mean, what kind of skill do you have to have to be a court oh, cover? You don't. <laughs> you don't. No. Sometimes they get, they get covered in the cover when they're rushing them on when it rains. It's true. I don't think you really have to have skills. I'm, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't say that, but uh, I think it's all about just... I think you have to be quite fierce, I guess, but they didn't really test us for that. So it's been years, though, since I've done it. So maybe it's changed, I don't know. And uh, a player escort, is that it? Yeah. Uh, uh, sounds a little dicey. <laughs> I know, I know. It doesn't sound great. But uh, yeah, I basically used to wait for the players to come out the changing rooms and then take them onto court and just make sure they got on court safely, basically. So it's a good job. But uh, yeah, it just. Making sure the public were a safe distance away, basically, with what I was paid to do. So were there any highlights of uh, doing that job? Any players you remember? Uh, yeah, so Roger Federer <laughs> was absolutely lovely. I took him on, on and off centre court many years. Uh, Rafa as well. Um, he, one time, we, I was taking him off practice courts and he basically got mobbed so much he kind of fell on top of me. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that was that was the highlight of my life. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but, and and as locals, uh, how does the dog and fox transform itself during the championship? There are so many more people. So Wilmington is a cool place to live, but during this championship, it's like everyone just goes absolutely mad. There are loads of people here. It's a really great atmosphere. So we're always here just to soak it up, basically. You feel the same way? Yeah, definitely. Like the village is a lot busier during this time of year, and. These are like pop-up bars open everywhere and stuff, so yeah. But the weather's been absolutely amazing, so that's really helped things. <laughs> we like or we don't like the Wimbledon Championship? We, we love, it. love it! Oh we gosh. love it! Wimbledon. Are you like, serious? It's, it's like nothing else, like on sea, like... Yeah. It's the best it's, time to be here. It's the best championships in the world. Like, everyone it, should come here. Like honestly. literally, it's, suddenly it's full of Canadians and Americans. <laughs> like they just come out of nowhere. 
great right. fun. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Are you a tennis fan? What are you doing here? No, I love tennis. It's like I, I live five miles from here, so I live in the Morden, but I really like tennis. So why do you come to the Dog and Fox? Good pub, village is open, and it, it's a good good atmosphere when the tennis is on. So yeah, it's good. It's and good. Have you been to the tennis this year? Yes, twice already this week, and fantastic, fantastic. You queue up, you go in, you get your tickets, and yeah, you watch them. Great, great place, fantastic place. And how long is the queue? How long do you have to queue up for? I queued up a quarter to five in the morning on Friday and got in for about half ten. So the whole day I spent there. So it was worth waking up at three a.m. To get, to get in for, yeah. If you wake up at 3 a.m. and you're in the queue, aren't you pretty well tired by the time you get there to start watching no, tennis? No, no, it's no. the morning after which you suffer from that, but no, it was great, it was great, it was good, it was good. Because right. everyone in the queue is in the same position, they want to look look forward going in tennis and away you go, right. so that was good. Great, okay, thanks a lot. This is Matt from Denver. Hi, how uh, are you? First uh, first Wimbledon, Matt? Uh, no, this is my, uh, my third Wimbledon, third actually. Wimbledon, really? Yeah. So uh, what do you like about this joint? Uh, you know, it's a, uh, a global tournament in a, uh, a small town. Wimbledon Village is just fantastic. You know, you can walk up here from the tennis, you can grab a beer. There's, uh, there's just a great scene, both inside and outside the tennis. So have you ever grabbed more than one beer here? Yes, I have. <laughs> As a matter of fact, and I've grabbed more than one beer at quite a few places at oh, Wimbledon better. Village. Oh, I see. And do you go to any other slimes? Uh, yes, the uh, U.S. Open and the French Open. Oh, really? And how does this compare? You know, I think there's far more drinking here in Wimbledon Village, but, uh, you know, the nightlife in New York is pretty special. And the dining's good in uh, near Roland Garros as well. Oh, really? But not as, this is a little bit um, uh, excessive is not the right word. I think a little bit more um, more of a party atmosphere, definitely right next to the tournament. Um, uh, as far as uh, the people here are, all, are tennis people, they're into the game. Um, and they, they, they take advantage of both uh, having a world-class facility to watch the game and then coming up here and having some of the best restaurants in London. So you, you say you like the nightlife in New York City. You seem like the kind of guy to me to be at home reading a book in his library. I didn't get this body at the gym, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, thank you very much. The atmosphere it brings to women is great. It's great. I lo love the atmosphere, but I'm not much of a tennis fan, but the, the tennis to, to Wimbledon is ace. Really? It's great, yeah, it's ace, yeah. It's Everywhere's live, every, everyone's happy, everyone's jolly and all drinking and having a good time, and it's all ace, yeah, yeah. Does, does the drinking ever get extreme? Well, I'll say yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, oh yeah, always, <laughs> always, especially with me. So for a guy who doesn't know anything about tennis, who's your favorite tennis player? I like Nadal Federer. Federer is top man because he's a, he's a luck of legend, you know what I mean? I know Sampras, you know, my parents taught me about tennis, but I have no interest in it, but, you know, I know Sampras, Agassi, you know, all, all the heavy hitters, you know what I mean? He, he, Leighton Hewitt back in the day, yeah, you know, I know all them. All right, thanks a lot. No, cool, 100%. Uh, South London, Clapham. You? Croydon. I live down the road with, with this fella. I do. Yeah. Uh, so we'll use this guy as the main speaker here. So uh, are you here for the tennis? No. Uh, we, live around, sorry, we, live, we live around the corner in Ellsfield. It's a great atmosphere around here. So we'd like to come and have some pims. And uh, no intention at all to go to the tennis? No, we, we'd like we to go. He's boys have been, yeah. We play tennis. Yeah. yeah, we play a lot of tennis. I went on the fri uh, Friday. Yeah, I was at uh, court two on Friday. So I saw Isner and I saw Anderson. So yeah, it was a good day, it was a good day. So what's the experience when you're on the grounds at the old England club? It's good, it's just a good atmosphere. It's just, it's, it's quintessential English event, if you will. So it's just a good atmosphere and it's fun and everyone's enjoying the sun for once, so. so you're all drinking Pims, I think, here, and uh, people back you home. You ended up on Pims. <laughs> Uh-oh, what did you start out on? A few beers. Oh, is that milk. It? Is that it? <laughs> it was milk this morning. Oh, really? Well, who, who, who didn't have milk this morning? But anyway. Uh, so, uh, Pims, I just had a taste of one, maybe the first time in my life. I found, I found it very tame. Tame? Yeah, there's, there's not much of a yeah. kick to it. I thought, like, it's supposed to have gin liqueur it in it. It depends if you make it yourself or not. Uh-oh. See, if you come, uh, to the, yeah, come to the pubs, they'll... Uh, Come to our bar. Is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll make you a good the pims. The right, so here, here's a question that we weren't planning on asking. Uh, England going to win the uh, World Cup? <laughs> it's coming home. <laughs> 100 yes. It's, it, it's not coming home because I don't agree with that coming home business. Yeah, no fighting, no fighting. <laughs> no. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it. I love football, but tennis is great. It's a different 
kind of ball game. What, what is it you like about tennis? I like um, the ambiance, yeah, and it's very kind of like, you know, chilled out, people having a lovely time, you know, celebrities there, it's absolutely amazing. And what do you like about tennis? The class. Really? It's just pure English class. Pims on Hillman's Hill oh, or Prosecco sure. in the sun. I mean, it's just English Doesn't get any class. better? No, no. Thank you very much. So what are you doing here drinking at the Dog and Fox pub? Uh, what am I doing drinking it? I'm, I'm catching up with a couple of my mates, um, enjoying the sunshine and, uh, and the atmosphere, basically. It's, it's, it's been fantastic. So what is it with the sunshine this year? What's going on? It's, I'm all upset. I'm not used to this. I, I have no idea, but, but if England was like this every summer, or you were guaranteed at least a month of sunshine every British summer, then, I mean, you see how good it is around here when, when the sun's out. It's, it's been really, really good. So, yeah. And as you can tell, we'll get busier you know, within the next couple of hours as well, so. Does that mean busy in terms of maybe some more females arriving or? Every chance, I mean, you know, uh, there's, as you can see, there's, there's, there's a, f a fair few around, but there always is when the sun's out. So I, I blame the sun, really. I'm not sure if it's to do with the tennis, you know. Yeah. And what about tennis? How much of an interest do you have in Wimbledon, the tennis? Um, to, to be honest, I, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I haven't watched a great deal at all, to be honest. Obviously with the, with the football being on, I'm more of a football fan myself, but with the football being on, I've obviously watched a lot more of that than, uh, you know, than the tennis, to be fair. And I, and I haven't had a day at home where I've just gone, right, I'm going to watch some tennis, if you see what I mean. So, uh, but no, I'm obviously aware of what's going on. I, I live down the road here, so, uh, yeah, so. What do you think of the effect that Wimbledon has on Wimbledon every year? I, I, it's brilliant. It's, it, it's a very positive uh, environment. It's a positive thing. I mean, yeah, yeah and it... And with the weather, it makes it a whole lot better. But I, th I just think it, it's great to have a major event, you know, actually in, in Wimbledon, you know, every single year. And, you know, it, it really is a positive thing. How long have you worked here? It's been two years already. Really? Yeah. What's the best part of working here during Wimbledon? You have fun. It's always full of tourists, people from everywhere in it, or from every country. So you can meet every kind of culture. So everybody get drunk, have fun, so a lot of troubles. Not too many, but much fun. And any famous tennis players? Um, we had for dinner a few of them, but for privacy we can't talk about them or anything about, about them. And do the tennis players like to drink? What, sorry? Do the tennis players like to drink? Do they like to have a beer? Uh, they don't really come here. Yeah, because it's too busy during Wimbledon. So because we got too many customers for privacy, they don't really leave the, um, the stadium usually. Some players do come here, but they go in the private rooms in the place? Uh, yeah, a few of them, they usually book rooms here, but they just have like room service all the time. So we never seen them. So you've never seen Roger Federer here? No, unfortunately for me, no. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you to you. Have a nice day. So we waited to do this sign-off until Mauricio, our wonderful cameraman, and yours truly, had a beer. So here we go. Just a couple of facts we forgot to tell you before. This place does over half a million pounds of business during Wimbledon, plus they quadruple their supplies. So that's another roundabout Wimbledon after one beer.